this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening! Yeah, yeah, the item we got at the end of the dungeon there, it's an instrument of the siren. So, that's basically what we're collecting in this game. Not Triforce pieces, or crystals, or pendants, or medallions, or whatever they are. We're collecting musical instruments. Literally. Not an instrument of destruction. Actual, literal instruments. And we need to collect all eight of them in order to wake the windfish. Sounds like a plan. Who is instructing you, Mr. Owl? Well, anyway, we gotta go up to, uh, or back up to Gapanga Swamp. I guess that's where the next instrument is. So now, let's put our rocks further to use and take this shortcut. Yeah. And yes, I know, Zelda 2 was the first game to actually give you the ability to jump. I just... I really do like Zelda 2. It's just, you know, well, I'm an RPG enthusiast, but, you know, this is the first game where you get an item that lets you jump in a bird's eye view game. That was a platformer, so of course you could jump in Zelda 2. Whoa, what's going on? You got danger music. Uh oh. Well, maybe you shouldn't have built your village next to the Moblin's forest. Now, did you think about that? Well, I suppose you are kids, but. What happened to the what did the mountains do? What house? You're repeating yourself. Bow Wow's house? What happened? M -m 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 moblins Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe we should head over to uh Madame Meow Mouse house. Oh no. I hope she's okay. Yay, happy music! Danger music! Dog napped. What is this game made for six year olds? Oh, right, it is kind of made for six year olds, isn't it? Okay, we gotta rescue Bow Wow. Yay, happy music. But where do we go to rescue those moblins? Or, yeah, rescue the moblins. That's great. No, rescue Bow Wow from the moblins. Let's see what Orira can tell us. Seems to know a lot about this island here. Caves of Tal Tal Heights, huh? Well, that's where we gotta go next, so I'll show you how to get there on screen. Some things I'll show you how to do on screen. Some things, if it's like, come back here, you know, I'll just tell you, hey, you know where the village is, but in a dungeon, I'll tend to do everything on screen. So here, I'll do this on screen instead of doing it off screen to get like halfway there because it's really fast anyway. So, but yeah, we gotta get all the way up to Tal Tal Heights there, so I'm just gonna kill you guys because your friends kidnapped my friend's dog. Maybe I'll actually get a decent reward this time for rescuing the dog? Nuts. No, I don't want the freaking acorn. You know what? I'm just gonna go in this cave and out just to get rid of that darn effect. I really hate those guardian acorns. I hope they replace that with something more useful in the next game. Hey, hey, all right, a piece of power! There we go, that's more like it. I don't think you can get a piece of power while you have a guardian acorn, if I recall correctly. How am I doing on my map here? Pretty good, pretty good, okay. Now, to get that heart piece, use Rock's Feather and jump right over the pits for heart piece number three. All right. Um, you know what, we could go up there. Let's go sightseeing a little bit, though. Let's go exploring. You know, Bow Wow can get rescued on his own time. Oh, we can't get to that cave. Nope, just, uh, just rocks blocking my way. Oh, there's a cemetery over there. Whoa, they got ghosts. And, uh, let's see, just like... Oh, I was gonna say, just like in Zelda... Oh, there they are. Yeah, just like in the first Zelda game, you touch the tombstones, and you make more ghosts appear. There's something special on this screen here, but we can't do it just yet. Get out of my way. Go to the other side of the screen. Whoa! Let's see what they got going on over here. Can I get over to... No. I was going to say, could I get over to Crazy Tracy's? But no. No, she's got boulders blocking her her uh, house, so... Oh, well. Whoa! Stay away from me, ravens. Nevermore! Telltale Heights, huh? Oh, and the camera shop? I don't remember there being a camera shop in this game. 
Well, if you've, uh, you're playing the black and white version, this shop isn't here. But in the Game Boy Color version, we have this shop here. So let's check it out. Let me make a save state just before uh, doing anything here. Um, no. No, I don't think so. No! But that must! No! I, I don't want to take a picture. I am Link! I guess Link's a little shy. Move! Get out of the way! I don't want your picture. No freaking way! Whoa! Game over? What, what's that supposed to mean? Am I dead? Oh, you've got a photo album, huh? Well, yeah, basically, you can collect pictures in the Game Boy Color version of the game and fill up an album and, you know, just, well, get nice little pictures. Sure, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at, uh, print, or picture number one. <laughs> yeah, if you say no over and over again, you get that picture. If you just agree to take a picture, then you get a different picture. I think picture number one is the only one that you get an alternate picture for. There's nothing special that you get for doing all these pictures. It's just, you know, just a little side thing. The um, There is a little add-on they made for the Game Boy Color, some printer, picture printer or whatever. And some games uh, used them to, well, you could print pictures off of them. Uh, I've never had it, so I never used it. I don't know how it works, but I heard that it was there, so. But yeah, just a little collector's thing you can do in the game. And if you do, do certain events, you can get more pictures. I will be showing you how to get all of those pictures. Uh, yeah, let's see what picture number one looks like since I agreed to take the picture this time. Yeah, yeah, we get a normal picture this time around, so. All right. Okay, so now let's go bet rescue Bow Wow. Now, since I showed you the, uh, well, the long way to get here, or the scenic route, let's show you the direct way to get here in case you don't care about any of those pictures or anything like that. Basically, all you do, remember where we got that heart piece? You go north, you can get all the way over here relatively quickly. Now let's see what's up here first. Uh, more swamp, I guess. Yeah, that's where the uh, swamp is, by the way. No, I don't want your freaking acorns. But yeah, to the east, there's Mount Tamarank, Tamaranch, whatever. I think the CH has a K sound in this case, but I could be wrong. Stop correcting my fictional pronunciations. What does this owl say? I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand what most of these owls in this game say, but eh. Whoa, they got moblins with swords and shields and everything in here must be their hideouts. So they are no match for my hero's technique. Or whatever they call it in this game. They change it from game to game. Sometimes they call it a charge attack or a hero's technique or whatever. Spinning attack. Yes, I am Link the Assassin sent by Madam Meow Meow to rescue Bow Wow. That sounds ridiculous. I can't believe I said that with a straight face. But anyway, the trick to beating this guy is that he can't, or you can't damage him while, well, just normally, just head straight on like the other Moblins. So what you gotta do is let him charge into the wall, there, like so. Do not get hit by the arrows, they hurt. Charge up for an attack, and hit him while he's stunned. And that's pretty much all there is to it. He takes quite a few hits, so, ow. Yeah, he takes quite a few hits before you can get him to say, ow. But then, you know, enough hits, and you got him. There we go. Pretty easy. But I've played this game like 30 times or something. Yay! We've rescued Bow Wow. They chained him to a block like a... Well, like a dog. Well, I suppose he is a dog, but yeah. What a fearsome beast you are. Who's a pretty... Or, who's a frisky kitty? Who's a frisky kitty? Well, okay, we got Bow Wow, so let's take him back to Madam Meow Meow. Oh. The owl is back fearsome animal you have there. Oh yeah, right. This whole side quest almost made me forget what our next directive is. Let's um, head on back to uh, Madam Meow Meow's then. Hey, I brought your dog back. Yay! What? 
take him for a walk? I brought him back for a reward, not to take him for a walk. Uh, I guess we gotta take him for a walk, but where am I supposed to take him for a walk? Well, let's actually talk to Dr. O'Rira. Yeah, you thought I was gonna cliffhang you there, didn't you, viewers? Indigestible flowers of Gapanga Swamp. Huh. Okay, well maybe we should take him for a walk there. But can Bow Wow really help us get through Gapanga Swamp? Or will we just end up getting swamped? Find out next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.